All right, so now we do the second question here. Um, in this question, we are asked to show that an exponential random variable has a constant hazard function. And then we're going to move in the other direction. So if the hazard function of t is a constant, we're going to show that that must be an exponential for some lambda. So how do we go about thinking about this problem? So let's start with the first one, going in the direction of showing that if t is a exponential, that we get a constant hazard function. All right, so we are just taking what is given to us and we expand out this hazard function and we know it's defined as the um, well, not an X but a T here and the PDF that's the definition given here up here right and now what is the PDF of the exponential, well, that's just lambda exponential to the negative lambda t. And this is the survival function, um, basically the complement of an event happening. And that is e to the lambda t we see that these two guys cancel out and what we are left with is lambda. All right, so that was part, the first part of the question. Now comes a little trickier part where we're going to show that if, if we're given that the hazard function is a constant, we're going to show that it must be exponential. Okay, so here is um, a way to think about this problem, which is to um, start with the um, with information given, which is that um, h of t is some constant lambda, like that, and we can think about this expression in a slightly reversed uh, version, which is um, that the survival function, which we we're going to call this little s, and then that's basically s of t. So s of t is this, okay? Oops, let me move this around. I want to make this guy a little smaller, just like that, S of T. Then we're going to think, uh, think about an expression, which is S of T. So this is the der derivative of S, like that. And now we might say, why are we putting, why are we starting here? Well. This is going to give us a negative lambda that gives us some movement towards, instead of going to um, relatively complicated differential equations, we're going to um, use this trick to um, move towards a expression that will be exponential. So bear with me a little bit here. So what is this expression? Well, S of T is, as we said, um, the survival function. So we call this S of t, but this is basically the e exponential lambda t. And we take the derivative of that. Well, that is just lambda t like this. And we see that this cancels out. These two guys cancel out. What we're left with is a negative lambda 
Well, this looks fairly similar to this guy, except that we have a negative here. Okay. Now, what do we do with this information here? So, one way to think about this, I'm going to keep on rewriting this expression. So this guy here, well, the first expression S derivative of T, that is uh, writing this now in a different form for the derivative. So we have D of S dt times one divided by s. Okay, so what did I do? Well, this expression here is basically this expression rewritten in a different format. And that equals, we said, negative lambda taken from this expression here. Okay, fine enough. Um, what do we do with this information? Well, what we're going to do, and we're going to think about this now as a, I'm going to divide by dt, no, sorry, multiply by dt, so we end up with ds, ds, one divided by s, negative lambda dt and we are now in the next step we're going to integrate both sides so we haven't done anything spectacular so we get an integral 1 s ds we're integrating over s lambda negative dt okay so we ask them what is this definite integral, well, it is the natural log of s, right? So like that. And the right hand side is, and we are differentiating with respect to t, so that must then be negative t lambda. And we're taking the exponential, both sides, we end up with s negative t. And so what we've shown here is that s must be, so the survival function must be exponential, right? And so, that says to us that t then must be exponential with parameter lambda. And that basically completes our proof.